This is what I grew in one month with my hydroponic indoor garden setup. And I have to do some repotting today, which I will take you along with me on doing that. But I wanted to give a full update and a little bit of a review for this hydroponic system that I got a little over a month ago. I think it was like 33 days ago. So this actual system, honestly, I think is amazing because I mean, look, this is in a month. Like I have to repot this or everything is gonna fall over and fall out. I potted up onion, which was not successful. I did two different kinds of microgreens and I'll give you a close up of those in a second. And I did cantaloupe, which you can see, I, I really don't wanna grow a melon over here. Um, and I did some peas, they were not successful. In the back, I did some green beans, they were not successful. I did peppers and then I did tomato. So one thing I think why this has been so successful is in the instructions, it says every time you add water to the system to use the plant food. This is the plant food that came with the system and I don't know what is in this, but every day it seems like the plants that are growing, they're growing bigger and quicker. So every time I added water to the system, I think that really helped explode the growth. I am planning on, I'm taking out the cantaloupe and the tomatoes and the peppers, and I'm gonna pop those up. I'm gonna leave the microgreens for now because I can start actually eating them. I knew they would grow quick, but not as large because I've grown microgreens in the past and they were not this big at all. Um, and then I'm gonna take out the onion, pea, and green bean, and uh, I'm gonna trade those in for some other herbs. I think this is honestly best used for leafy greens, like leafy herbs and things like that. I, I did not really think that I was gonna grow cantaloupe, and now I'm like, oh my gosh, I had to go buy some pots because I might actually be able to grow some cantaloupe. So let's do some repotting. There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am The day that I did all of this repotting for all of these fruits and vegetables, it was actually so hot. It was like 85 degrees and you can see like they look kind of like drained. They're like, girl, why would you do this to me right now? Um, but I did water them. When I had my garden before, I would water every single morning and the plants would be fine. But I did this in the middle of the day, which I don't know why I did that. So that's why they kind of look a little bit floppy, but they have recovered since. And I ended up adding some green onions that I had in, in some water in my kitchen. And I still think I need to add a little bit more soil to all of these and to actually secure the stakes a little bit better, but I'm excited to watch these grow and I will definitely be giving you an update very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.